but Chris Ward's lap was three seconds faster, two and a half seconds faster than the rest of the leaders, so he really has got an extra pace advantage at this stage of the race, yeah, but he won't want to get held up for too long. But what's happened on this lap, Mike uh, Whitaker has really started to pull clear, he's more than a second clear, he was under half a second clear of Rob Huff yes. on the start-finish line, it's wetter and wetter at the back of the circuit. It's going to need to be, because it's a very long race, and uh, Chris Ward looks like he's uh, an unstoppable force uh, yeah. down in fourth place of the 55 car. But now he's up to this grouping, it's getting harder and harder for each overtaking manoeuvre, but has he got enough handling to go round the right-hand side here? But Tony Sinclair, as we saw at Madrick at the start of that, he does not back off, he does not see. He's got the right position when they go into the lap. Bear in mind, it's a 4.7-litre engine in the GT40, and the engine in the Spider Lola's are much bigger than that. They can be anything up to 5.8, 5.9. <laughs> well, let's see how the good are. Good oh, she's on the, the, the grass down the inside. Yeah, and but not with all his wheels. Come on, gentlemen. <laughs> <laughs> what a great move, and uh, Tony Sinclair could only be so robust, and he didn't think, well, he thought I haven't given him a car's width. Well, Chris Ward didn't need a car's width. Two wheels on the grass on the approach to Woodcote. <laughs> Rather him than me. Here they come then, down the, the straight. This is the replay of what happened. Tony Sinclair out-dragged the GT40, but Chris Ward bustles down the inside. How he got the car stopped, I've absolutely no idea, but he did. I mean, I've been insulted by Alan Menu. I've been strangled by Ricard Rydell. Very grunty Nissan engine in the 